guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing dermaplaning dermaplaning it sheds dead skin and unwanted facial hair so let's get right into it so this video is not for children uh, they do typically recommend dermaplaning for age 16 years and older so dermaplaning is a skin treatment that uses an exfoliating blade to release dead skin cells and hair from your face it makes your skin surface smooth youthful and radiant it also reduces the appearance of acne scars and other skin imperfections by revealing newer undamaged skin so i'm going in with my witch hazel to cleanse my face before this i did use my cetaphil face wash and uh, i'm going in with my crayon to go ahead and mark the outer of the face and that way we know where the sensitive parts are and uh, we are not going to press too too hard on the delicate areas so the average course of dermaplaning is between 100 to 150 dollars results last around three to four weeks patients should dermaplane once a month for ideal results and there i'm going in with my coconut oil because today we're doing an oil dermaplane. If your skin is oily, you can just do a regular dermaplane. If your skin is dry, you can do a oily dermaplane like what I am using here. So the gentle facial razor that we're using is the only thing you want to use when doing this yourself at home. Three of these are for $1 at your nearest beauty supply it is not for constant use at most twice and that's it make sure you cleanse it thoroughly with alcohol before and after use the witch hazel is a three dollars and 64 cents at walmart for the 16 fluid ounce bottle that's the tm dickinson's witch hazel 100 percent natural astringent for face and body that i'm using today the coconut oil this is in my last video as i said i use it for everything it's 15 dollars on amazon and the fruit of the earth 12 ounce 100 percent aloe vera gel is 11 dollars and 99 cents at walmart you're going to see that at the last part of the video when i am moisturizing these products of course is not a one-time use you can use them time and time again so only spending a couple cents on one dermaplane literally okay so you want to be very gentle when it comes to you doing this process you do not want to press the blade on your skin hard at all you want to be very gentle especially when it comes to the delicate areas that's around the lips by the chin and just under the eye bags also on your nose you need to be very very careful with those areas in this video i have not had any nicks or cuts i was very gentle please be extremely gentle as well The reason for the marking, you want to make sure that you are doing your face section by section. 
and that way you know that the entire face is complete and right now i'm showing you guys how much unseen that was facial hair that's coming out on the face Please do not press hard on your nose, be extremely gentle. The process is finished. The witch hazel I am now using to clean my face and take out any of the oil and the unseen facial hair that is still stuck on there. And now I'm going in with my 100% aloe vera gel, fruit of the earth. This gel is going to reduce any redness or skin irritation. Also, the witch hazel assist as well in doing so. It also going to have a nice cooling on your face. This you're going to be sleeping with. that radiant skin also looks like a mugshot this is all of the dead skin and unwanted facial hair this process really works these are the do's and don'ts of dermaplaning so please pause this video and read this through do not forget to like and subscribe pay it forward